What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to Scoustar MTB. Today's Wednesday, I've got a little day off work, so I've decided to do a solo trip here to Farmer John's Bike Park. Got the hardtail out with me today, so it should be fun. Also looks like I've got the place to myself. Anyway, should be a good day out, so let's go. So they've got a few facilities here at Farmer John's. Got changing rooms, some on-site toilets, a little bike repair. Got a cafe where you sign in and get some food for lunch. Nice little chill area with a decent view. So, dropping in Farmer John's MTB. Got this cool little run in here. Oh, it's changed a bit since last time I was here. Definitely don't remember that big thing. Find my way back onto the track. So this place isn't too big, but manages to pack a punch. A lot of trails rammed into a small area. Definitely worth a visit if you're in the area. It's a little jump, some flow trails. Coming up that one. It's a 50 to John line. But yeah, because it is such a small place. No uplifts or nothing, so good old fashioned pedal pedal back to the top. So, the very last stint to the top, it's a bit of a steep push to get to the start gate. Just gonna dig deep. So we're dropping in on one of the main runs here at Farmer John's. See if the hardtail's up for this drop. Definitely a bit harsher than on the full sus, that's for sure.
That was a good little first run. Okay, dropping in again. Farmer John's main line. Well, first thing I learned was I definitely can't push as hard as I could on the full sus. Not if I want to keep my ankles intact, that is. Second thing I learned, I need gloves. Very rough on the hardtail. Rougher. Holy moly. So now we're going to try a little section that sits about halfway up the hill. Another little star gate. So many little runs at this place. Interchanging, swapping tracks. You really can session a lot of different things. This trail's like switchbacks all the way down to the wood section. Labyrinth of trails. Bit too steep for me on the hardtail anyway. So because the bottom part of this track down in the woods is fairly steep climb back up and the top section that we've been doing is also a bit of a steep climb what the majority of people do here at Farmer John's is session just this middle section it's got all the best features in it all the big jumps so what you want to push up from there to here isn't too hard so you can session a lot of runs and it's generally what everybody does so because i've been doing full runs i'm pretty knackered now so i think i'm just going to session these middle bits try and get some good footage for you dropping in I'm gonna try and peel off this one onto the original line. And do the ladder drop. Sorry, the ladder bridge. Let's off here. I know he's got no speed. Great bumping down here. And I'm lost. 
so they've got a line here called 50 to John it's kind of their take on Revolution Bike Park's 50 to 1 line big jumps starts off here works its way down doubles into big gaps big tables and then you've got a big road gap at the end never hit the thing before and I'm also on the hard tail so I don't really want to commit to full send and end up dying but I'll take you for a little run down it just to give you a gauge of what's what so 50 to jump A big road gap here which you don't want to come up short on at all <sighs> I had a bit of a heavy time then overshot the first jump landed deep into the burn then the third jump landed blew a foot off the pedal trying to get my feet back on before the next table it was a fucking mess <sighs> definitely scared me a bit though I feel like if I had my full sauce, I could send that easy. Definitely. Might have one more crack at that. Just finished up here at Farmer John's Mountain Bike Park. Place has definitely changed a lot since the last time I was here. A lot of digging been going off. New lines here, so they've definitely got a nice mix of trails at this place. Somewhere you need to check out if you're in the area. It's well worth a visit. Hardtail was running pretty sweet as well. Definitely a bone shaker in places like, but did what it was meant to do. Anyway, if you like what you've seen, smash that like button and hit subscribe. And don't forget to check out the Insta, Scoustar MTB. Peace.